Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Happy New Year's to all of you guys. I hope you all had a good New Year's. It's currently the 2nd of Jan. I just took yesterday to kind of like reset my whole life and I just thought I'm just gonna start on the 2nd. So that is exactly what we're doing today. I literally yesterday, I planned my whole week and I basically, that is when I started getting back into routine, obviously apart from going to the gym. Um, but I feel so, so much better for it having that whole day to kind of like prepare prepare myself um, and just get myself in the right like mindset. I honestly spent about four hours cleaning my entire flat because that always just puts me in the best mindset. Like I undecorated my whole flat so it's now not Christmassy anymore as you guys may have seen. I'm not really sure if I got many clips of the kitchen but the Christmas tree's down, everything's down and I was really sad about it when I was like bringing everything down. I thought it was like really depressing but now that everything's down and like everything's cleaned i've cleaned everything and it just kind of feels really fresh and i'm just excited for like a fresh new year and not a fresh start because i don't think it's a fresh start it's literally just another day but it is just kind of like a fresh start for my goals and just kind of like resetting things and just having a little bit more of a clearer vision because the festive period can definitely tend to kind of cloud that um vision a little bit which is absolutely fine i don't regret you know being off track at christmas and stuff that is completely normal and if you guys have done the same you should not feel guilty whatsoever we can just start back up again in jan and as you guys will know if you follow me on instagram but my 20 week guide launched yesterday so many of you guys have already got it and you've already started it and i just love seeing you guys enjoying it so if you have got it please tag me in your stories and stuff because I just love seeing them but if you do want to shop my 20 week workout guide you can head to the link in the description below it is called gain with mlg and this morning we're actually going to be doing a workout from my guide it's glutes and hamstrings today and I'm going to be doing day one week one of my guide and this is just the beauty of having a guide is that I yesterday and today didn't need to think about what I was going to be doing in this workout because it's literally all ready for me in my guide I don't even need to think about it I just need to open open it up and it's all there and I'm so thankful for that yeah I'll just talk you guys through what a little bit of a reset day looked like for me yesterday so as I said I did clean my flat oh my wipers just randomly came on I cleaned my entire flat I planned my week out I set kind of like non-negotiables of stuff that I want to try and stick to in the new year so that is reading every night before bed for half an hour I want to be in bed by like nine half nine and read for the 30 minutes before I go to sleep rather than scrolling on my phone i have started reading my matthew perry book which i got as a christmas present because i've wanted it for so long and it is literally so good so far and I've, I've literally read about four or five pages it's really good so i'm excited to read that again tonight i feel like that's the hardest part about like starting a book is actually starting it because you don't know if it's going to be good or not but once you like get into it a little bit you kind of then get excited to read it every night but yeah that is one non-negotiable also getting eight hours of sleep every single night i didn't actually do that last night because i found it really difficult to fall asleep i feel like because i'm feeling quite motivated my mind just starts like running especially with like content and things like my work my mind just kind of like runs with ideas and i just couldn't get to sleep last night but that's fine i still got like seven and a half hours seven hours 45 i think last night which i'm still happy with it's also going to be as well to juice every single week i actually got a juicer for christmas as you guys will have seen this morning i had one this morning it was like a um, health shot I made three different types I made a turmeric and ginger one and then I made a green one which was like celery and stuff and then I made a red one which was like beetroot strawberries and stuff but I had the ginger and turmeric one this morning and I want to get into a routine of doing that every single week my like juice shots um, are on their way from Amazon right now because I don't have any proper ones currently but I've ordered like little mini juice juicer bottles which I think when they come I'm gonna do a whole fresh batch because that was the first time I'd ever used the juicer so I didn't really know like the quantity of things like how many shots it would make so I just need to kind of get my head around that and have a little practice with it but yeah I'm also gonna start um, planning out my days and weeks as well I think I've already touched on this but I planned out my entire week yesterday and it just kind of makes me feel so much clearer in my mind you know you just kind of like offload everything from your mind and there's no chance that you're going to kind of like forget anything that's in your week because it's all written down yeah that is the beauty of that highly recommend doing that 
let me know what your non-negotiables are in January or just in 2024. We're going to try and stick to these for as long as possible. Also, drinking loads of water. I already drink a lot of water, but definitely over the Christmas period, I like lacked with it so much. So I have like a big Stanley and I'm definitely going to try to have three of those a day. And so should you guys should have a lot of water per day, no matter how you get it in, just make sure you are drinking a lot of water. Taking my vitamins every single day, taking my supplements every day, like my creatine and my glutamine, track my calories because I'm getting back into doing that again and I'm going to be resuming my bulk starting as of today but I'm going to do it a little different this time and I'm going to try and to keep it as clean as I possibly can um, just for obviously the health benefits and I feel like I just got a little bit lazy last year and it wasn't the healthiest that it could have been yeah I was getting the calories in and you know gaining the weight however I want it to be as nutritious as possible just for the health of my body and just how I feel from within. But yeah, that is a little update from me. As I said, I'm gonna be training glutes and hamstrings this morning. I have actually just pulled up to the gym and I've got my pre-workout. I have not had pre-workout in about three weeks now. So this is gonna hit hard. Let's hope I don't have to run to the toilet. <laughs> But I've got my Pride from EHP, literally in my favorite flavor ever. This is Rainbow Candy. And this is also my favorite pre-workout. I just find that it gives me such a good pump and it gives me like just the right amount of energy without giving me tingles or anything. If you guys want to get a discount, you can use my code MIA and there will be a link in the description as well, which you can shop through if you want to get yourself any supplements. I've also got a fresh new shaker, which is always <laughs> so nice because I don't know about you guys, but my shakers, no matter how many times I clean them, no matter how many times they go through the dishwasher, they smell rank. And it's just not very nice. You know when you're just trying to drink out of it and it just smells like shit? It's not very nice. So it's always nice to have a new shaker. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys do want to stock up on some supplements for the new year, then just head to the link down below and use my code MIA for some money off. But I'm just going to drink this. I'm going to show you guys what day one of week one of my guide is going to look like today. So this is what the front cover of the guide looks like. I'm honestly so happy with how it looks you've got over 270 pages of information obviously there's 20 weeks long so it's quite a long guide and over the 20 weeks the workout split slightly changes every four weeks so it works in like a four week rotation as you guys know I always stick to basically the same movements in all of my workouts and to some that might seem you know really boring and some people might not want to do that but that is how you make the most progress and how you make the most muscle growth is by utilizing the same movements but changing your weights each week so one week you might do ideals and hip thrusts the next week you might do ideals and hip thrusts again but maybe one week you'll do six to eight reps and then the next week you'll do 10 reps it's more just about differentiating the weight and the rep range rather than the actual exercises but the way that the exercises change on like the four week rotation is it's kind of like the unilaterals and the isolations that will change every four weeks so over the whole um guide the compound movements will stay the same throughout the entire guide however as i said the unilaterals and isolations will change slightly every four weeks so here we have week one so that is the warm up there and if you just click that there the video it will take you to a video demonstration and here we go so the first exercise we have in this workout is RDLs and then as you can see we have hip thrusts we then have dumbbell sumo squats cable step ups and then hamstring curl so that is week one day one glutes and hamstrings that will not look much different to you guys from what I've shown you on YouTube and stuff this is basically my training plan this is what I have been using for months and months and months last year and it is what I saw the most muscle growth with whilst using that and yeah this is just my guide this is just what I use so if you guys want to use what I use this guide might be the one for you but that is day one, week one, and we're going to get into it. Let's go into the gym. Kick for my win. I need my hands. This life is real. I'm 
I'm on my job, I get it done, but you should know that. Shine like a sun of 101, you should know that. I get the front and in the back, you should know that. No need to stun, it's never cap, you should know that. All I know, ten toes, never fold, bang roll, on the go, ice hold, ice hold, ice hold. Came for my win, I need my hands. This life is real, can't play pretend, came off the fence, I get it in. So I hit them on the FaceTime I need it all for them so no I cannot waste time Facing these oceans, feel the water on my waistline We trust the process and my only know it takes time You can get it, got no worries, I'm gonna make mine Going global, I'ma get it out the state lines Paying taxes at a mortar, what you may not Different bracket, eating off a different plate now. Hit for my wins, I need my hands This life is real, can't play pretend Came off the fence, I get it in session is now done that was actually such a good session i am really happy with how that went that was obviously my first one back after over two weeks i have not been to the gym maybe even nearly three weeks now and um, so i wasn't like i didn't have any like high expectations but really enjoyed it and i wasn't feeling as weak as i thought i would but i did still feel a little bit weak obviously but that's absolutely fine and um, we just lowered the weights and took it steady because the last thing that we want is an injury but as i said followed the first day of my guide and i just loved it so much <laughs> that's just what i do anyway as you guys will have probably noticed there wasn't much difference in my day-to-day -day training so yeah i'm gonna go home now i think i'm actually just gonna turn this into like a what in a day as well as a like get back on track spend the day with me just because those are like my favorite videos to film and i already showed you guys my breakfast i had some brown bread with smoked salmon and cream cheese and i had my health shot my turmeric and ginger health shot and also my vitamins as well but yeah i never like to have like a massive breakfast before i go to the gym if i'm training in the morning just because as you guys know i've touched on it but i just personally don't like training on a really really full stomach it's also not very good for you if you have like a really full stomach and i am just personally not that hungry in the morning anyway so that like size that breakfast size is absolutely perfect for me but i'm gonna go home now and have a little snack it's 12 o'clock now but i'm gonna have a snack before i make my dinner lunch um so yeah i will go home and show you that once we get home right guys i am back at home and back in the kitchen and i'm gonna make my post-workout snack so i'm gonna have some greek yogurt this really yummy dark chocolate i personally am not a huge fan of dark chocolate so it needs to be like flavored for me to like it so this is orange flavor because i am a sucker for chocolate orange and then i'm also gonna put some chia seeds and some honey in it as well and as i said guys i am tracking my calories again which is why i am obviously weighing it Please ignore the sofa, it looks absolutely awful. I just really do not like the colour of these sofas, but all of my blankets are in the wash. But I just had my post-workout snack and I'm now just having my creatine and glutamine. I'm just gonna kind of drink this over the next few hours. But I have got some content to film today for Honor for a new capsule that is launching next week. Actually, a week today, I think. Um, so I think it will actually already be revealed by the time that you watch this video. But yeah, I need to film some content for that. They want me to film um, a reel. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna make my dinner. I think I'm gonna have gnocchi again because I had it yesterday, so it's already open. So I need to have that today 
chicken gnocchi i think that's what i'll do currently on just over a thousand calories which i'm quite happy with so far i also found that like because my eating was so off over christmas and i wasn't really it sounds so like the opposite to what it should have been but i wasn't actually eating that much because like the meal times were just all over the place and i just found myself just not eating enough basically so i feel like i need to just work my appetite back up because i definitely have lost it a little bit but even just going for that like one training session back has like brought my appetite back a lot like i'm i'm hungry which is always a good feeling but yeah i am gonna film this content for honor and then i will catch up with you again when i'm making my dinner sorry guys i've just put a fake fire on youtube you know just to set the ambience <laughs> But this is a brand new colour that is launching on the 9th of January, I believe, in the Cozy Capsule. And this is vintage purple, I think. But how nice is it? So nice, especially in the lounge. I love it in the lounge. And these are the normal lightweight joggers. But in the Cozy Capsule, we also have straight leg joggers launching. I will put them on and show you guys, but I'm really excited for them because I feel like they're like the ultimate rest day just staying at home jogger like a straight leg jogger i personally wouldn't wear straight leg joggers to the gym but i will show you guys them but yeah that is launching on the 9th of jan i will try and remember to show you the other colors for youtube but there's also effortless and mellow soft which is coming in that capsule as well in this color and some brand new colors next i have to show you june brown so this is also a brand new color at honor it's gonna be the last color that i show you just because i just wanted to just briefly touch on it as when you guys watch this it will be launching in two days but yeah this is june brown i've also got the brand new straight leg joggers on just beware that they are very long if you are a short girl um pick the short length there is actually going to be three lengths in the straight leg jogger so i'm pretty sure it's going to be um a long a regular and a petite as well so if you are short i would definitely opt for petite these are not petite these are regular and they are so long i cannot wear these outside but these can just be my home ones <laughs> on my rest days when I'm just working from home, which is every day. Yeah, what do you guys think of two new colours? Make sure you set a reminder for the 9th of Jan at 5pm UK time. Alright guys, sorry for the change in outfit. Once again, I obviously am just creating this video for Honor and they want me to do like a few different things for it. But I'm just about to make my dinner. So I'm going to have chicken gnocchi green beans and then some coriander on top because i love coriander but i'm just gonna basically fry it all up i think that's just the easiest option i think i might actually i think i'll boil the beans and then i'll fry the chicken and the gnocchi thought i would show you guys what my flat is looking like currently after christmas as i said i de-decorated everything so my tree was over there by the telly and obviously now it's not anymore i was really sad when i was taking down all the decorations but now that it's kind of all gone it just feels so much fresher and cleaner um but i've got my week planned out here and all the festive christmas scents are out of the window we've got some nice fresh uh, reed diffusers and candles and i've also got some down here by the telly as well those ones there are all from the white company and then these three are from diptyque and then i've obviously got my neon there and i've also got these two cute candles on my um like coffee table as well Please ignore the sofa. The blankets will be dry very soon. But yeah, this is what the flat is looking like. Nice and fresh. And I'm feeling much better for it. I am really glad that it's the new year. As I said, I was a little bit like sad that Christmas is over and stuff. I just love Christmas so, so, so much. I just love that time of year. And I feel like it can be a little bit daunting like going into the new year because obviously everybody's all about like their new goals new me and everything which i don't really agree with by the way i don't really agree with the whole new me sort of idea but i just feel like there is a lot of pressure going into the new year so if you are feeling pressure as well at this time of year just know that it's 
completely normal and you're also not alone i have also been feeling pressure as well you know you're seeing everyone on the internet creating all these goals creating all these whatever and i feel like if you don't have that all figured out it's easy to feel pressured but just take your time with it you've literally got the entire year just because you don't have it all figured out like in the first week it doesn't mean you're not going to achieve them and it doesn't mean you know you're not as good as those other people just take your time with it because jumping from you know doing absolutely nothing over christmas and stuff to going full steam ahead with everything can be quite a lot and you just you want to avoid burnout as much as possible because this time of year like january february it's quite easy to get burnt out a lot because you know you just go go in as hard as you possibly can because you know it's the start of the new year there's all this hype around fitness and stuff which is absolutely great you should definitely you know get into your fitness journey if that's something that you wanted to do and create your goals but you don't want to you know go into it in an unsustainable way where you can't kind of keep up with yourself that is how you will end up burning yourself out so you want to avoid that as much as possible but yeah just a little bit of a word from me if you are feeling a lot of pressure right now at this time of year you're not alone but i have quite a lot of work to be getting on with i have filmed a lot of content today so i'm gonna import all this into my laptop on my phone and start editing it just having a little snack i'm having three rice cakes that is biscoff spread honey and marmite and then i've got some greek yogurt with dark chocolate and just some cinnamon powder over the top i did have greek yogurt earlier as well but it's just a better alternative than just having some chocolate for example obviously i am having chocolate but it's dark chocolate so it's better for you and Greek yogurt is a nice way to get some extra calories in as well but this is going to be my snack before I have tea I think I'm going to have some salmon pasta tonight for tea but I will show you guys anyway what I make this is my tea very kindly made by Anton <laughs> it is a tomato and salmon pasta with like mushrooms and spinach in um but yeah Anton said it's really nice so I'm excited to try it. Hey guys, sorry for the abrupt end to the vlog yesterday, but me and Anton just chilled and watched a film. But as you will have seen, I had salmon pasta for tea, and then I had some carrots and hummus, and then a big bowl of Cheerios. I'm pretty sure that's what I didn't show you. Um, it all came to around 2,800 calories. So that was my day yesterday. I just thought I'd show you guys. That was my first day back on my bulk, and... I'm just gonna gradually increase it a little bit over time. Obviously, I'm trying to keep it as clean and just much better than before as possible. Obviously, when you're eating that many calories, it's hard to kind of get them, you know, 100% whole foods, 100% healthy, natural foods. And I'm not trying to make it, you know, 100% all of that, but I'm just trying to be mindful and make it as much of that as possible. Um, so I'm really happy with how the day of eating went yesterday and if I can hit that every day I'll be happy with that. I thought I would just come on here and catch up with you guys because I'm just about to go over to my brother's and we are going to use the ice bath. I don't know if I've actually mentioned it on my YouTube yet but my stepbrother who lives literally next door to me got an ice bath a couple months ago and I have used it all but once <laughs> so far so I really really want to get into using it a lot more it honestly just makes you feel unreal if you have like an ice bath or at your gym maybe if you have like a plunge pool or something highly 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 recommend using it it honestly makes you feel like you're on some kind of like drug like it makes you feel so happy you get such like a high out of it and although it's really not that nice in the moment it's so so worth it after and especially if you maybe do it at the start of your day it will just like kind of like fill your mind with like happy hormones for the rest of the day so highly recommend it's also so amazing for recovery and repairs muscle tissue and stuff and just aids in your muscle recovery and since being back to the gym yesterday as you guys saw i did a leg session that was my first leg session leg session in nearly three weeks the doms today let's not even talk about it because it hurts to sit on the toilet my bum and my hamstring <laughs> hamstrings are absolutely dead so i think this ice bath is gonna do me the world of good and i'm a little bit nervous i'm not gonna lie because it really does just take your breath away but last time i did five minutes so i'm gonna aim to do that again i know that i can do it so i will do it because if i don't do it i'll be annoyed at myself because i know that i can do it um but i thought i would put it in the vlog just because i thought it would be entertaining and somewhat amusing <laughs> but i'm just gonna get a little bit of work done and then me and anton are gonna go pop around to my brother's
Now we're out of the time lapse. I've just been in the ice bath. Mia Green Hi guys. has uh, just. I'm, I'm just doing eight minutes. She did five before, then I beat her doing six. So now she's left. doing eight. To, this, is, this is the temperature gauge for the to ice. To show bath. how good she is. This is easy now. We do 10 minutes. You get used to it. You're going to get your shoulders under. Don't have under. Like, like the top of your neck. You're like, yeah. You didn't. Yeah, well, I was too big for it. I'm too small for it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far, Greenies. <laughs> Do you like me as Honor Beanie? I imagine you could buy one at Honor. Can one. you buy one at Honor? I think we're in stock. I'm not really sure. Maybe. Honor joggers. <laughs> Anton's you... repping the Honor. <laughs> yeah, you can buy them. Use me as um, link. athlete link or whatever <laughs> it is in the bio. <laughs> yeah. How long you got left? Let's have a look at the watch. It'll be a pretty cool shot. Oh, God. Press the button on the side. It's in water mode. Oh, it's not focusing. How long you got? Four seconds. Four seconds three, I'm just going to do ten minutes. Two. No, don't. <laughs> Alright. Is that two more minutes? Yep. Alright. Commence a two minute more time lapse. Oh, look at me. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> minus points for leggings. And for the Vina. <laughs> Just did 10 minutes in the ice bath. Was not that nice, but once you're in it, it's really not that bad. And I feel so much better for it now. Hey guys, sorry, it is now again a couple of days later. I have just been so busy the past couple of days and I forgot to close out this vlog. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the first one of 2024. And I hope it just helped to give you a little bit of motivation um, for the new year. It was basically just a getting back on track video and showing you guys a little full day of eating. On my bulk again as i've mentioned i have now resumed my bulk again but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video get ready for lots of fitness motivational everything like that content in 2024 because that is definitely what i'm going to be bringing to you guys but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you next week bye